Hey guys, my name is Shy. This is a quick pick a card reading for star seeds or really anybody who wants to tune into this. I just have three cards here. We got pal one, pal two, pal three. There's going to be timestamps down below. You can go ahead and pick your cards and I will see you in your reading. Okay, pile number one. Well, let's find out what this quick message is for you. Ooh, you got the sun. And you got a star family. You are part of a team of souls. Call in support. And then we have Jupiter with abundance. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. So... You guys are either already feeling fan-fucking-tastic or you are about to. <laughs> you have three absolutely phenomenal, completely stellar cards. And it's like it's coming from within and from without, right? The sun, the, I mean, besides the fact that I, the sun card has such a good reputation because, oh, look, and my sunny cat, my great big orange ginormous cat, his name is Trouble. <laughs> he just came up to say hello when we're tuning into this sun energy, this solar energy, this Leo energy. <laughs> yes, thank you, Trouble. Thank you, Trouble, for visiting. <laughs> I am going to have to remove him because he will destroy everything. I will be right back. Okay, what I was trying to say, this sun card, right? When I get the sun card... It can signal literally like this blessing coming through, this abundance coming through. I remember one time when I first got into tarot, so clearly I was sitting around going, man, I really could use some good news. We need some good news. And then my husband called me and he had just gotten a call giving him essentially the job offer that was going to really change everything for us. And just, it was like, that was exactly what we needed, exactly when we needed it. And it was gonna be so good all around. It was gonna be better for us in every single way. So awesome. And I've had the sun card do that so many times. And to have this, it's doubled up. You got the sun and you got Jupiter. You know, Jupiter bringing expansion and blessings and abundance. And we got the lightning bolt and everything. It is absolutely incredible. And this, and then the support of your star family. And this is just more to the point, support from the universe flowing in, flowing around you. This is what, <laughs> this is what you want. So you guys, like I was saying, right, you're either already feeling fantastic and you're just riding the wave and that's about to get better. But if you are still listening to this, even though you haven't been feeling great, this is really the shift coming through. And that is what you need to know. Uh, the shift is coming through the magic, the blessings, the opportunity, the emotional and material abundance, just all of it. And that's really all I have to say on this, guys, because honestly, to get three such incredible cards all in a row like that, I don't know, this, this is just what you guys are meant to hear right now. So I'm going to leave this message there. Sending you guys so much love and light. Bye. Okay, pile number two. What are your cards? What is your quick message for right now? Okay. Wow, totally different vibe than the first one, but not bad. Okay, you've got the devil, but note that this is the serpent of knowledge on here, right? The serpent of knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. That was actually what I was just going to say about, you know, the knowledge of good and evil. What, how do I interpret that expression, right? What do I think that means? I think that is duality, right? The knowledge of good of evil is the experience of duality or the experience of polarized consciousness, right? So you guys have been in some kind of the lesson, you've been receiving the lessons of polarity. So maybe you've been exposed to something that is opposite to what you would prefer. Maybe you have been challenged to confront 
energy that is just it's opposite to you right or if you have been feeling some kind of division right you've essentially been in the blender of duality and you've been going through that and that kind of experience when we're when we're in the tension in in the in the learning through conflict or through separation right we can end up wanting to micromanage and want to control and because we're, we're trying to make something happen to ourselves but it's time to surrender that type of the controlling the, the need to grasp the need to control right surrendering control hold the opposites within you right hold the opposites within you perhaps for you guys part of your learning has been to understand that the thing that is so opposite to you is in some way also inside of you maybe you've had to discover that is it is also inside of you this could be something small and local to your human life or maybe you've been dealing with a person that you really can't stand because they seem completely opposite to you but somehow you've started to learn oh wait maybe we have some kind of common ground maybe this person triggers me in some way because they're actually kind of like me in this one weird way maybe you've been kind of shifting your perspective on that much bigger perspective right maybe this is you know you guys being star seeds who have definitely incarnated in some of the love and light civilizations right where everything was bliss <laughs> and perfection and unconditional love and joy and ecstasy and euphoria all of the time and then your soul has gone on this journey, this dissension cycle where you've gone through incarnations where thing was the exact opposite of that, right? Learning about pain and deprivation and suffering. So you can look at this, you know, maybe it's a small, it, it's a localized thing for you guys. Maybe it's, this is part, you know, reflecting on your bigger, bigger, bigger soul journey. But you're coming to this point of integration, right? We got lunar eclipse, change. You're coming to the point of integration it's like whatever you've been learning the lessons of duality that is starting to like click into place you're coming to the end of a cycle of learning here and that is what allows the change right the change in this case right in this case the change happens when you fully 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 integrate the lesson and don't be frustrated with yourself about how long it might have taken you to learn the lesson maybe it's taken you lifetimes upon lifetimes and maybe in this life maybe it seems like it's taken too long but sometimes it's like that right sometimes there are, are things that we just don't figure out that we just don't understand and it it can seem like it's way too long but sometimes that's literally what it takes right sometimes that's literally what it takes it's like I can hear your your soul saying like we're gonna figure this out in this lifetime whatever it takes whatever it takes so you've been through experiences that were literally giving you whatever it was going to take to get you to this point of, of transformation to get to this point of change that is literally the hanged man in reverse which is always funny to get the hanged man in reverse because that's actually the hanged man kind of standing upright right it's like <laughs> it's like almost like you know like a double negative so that's just very interesting to me I'm going to leave that upright that is actually that's really really significant actually because we're talking about a lesson that has taken you a very 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 long time to learn a perspective shift that has taken you a very long time to click into right some kind of wisdom some type of understanding that has taken a very long time that is you in the hanged man in its normal state which is when you're hanging upside down in the the long pause the deep inward looking hanged man came out in reverse to me meaning this is that moment of change so th there's just one little thing here I feel like I mean you're everyone's on a spectrum in, in a group reading right because some of you this is already clicked and you know what this is some of you it is just now like dominoes falling into place some of you it, it's still going to be like a little bit right so there's just one thing about this this is this is a skill of allowing the change to flow through you the skill of allowing the per perspective shift to click it's taking the leap 
uh, but but you're not actually going anywhere. It, it's like an internal leap, allowing an internal leap. It's just you know that feeling of jumping off of a high. Maybe you're going cliff diving, or you know just jumping off of a big rock into some cold water, right? And you hesitate, you hesitate, you hesitate, and you know there's nothing that can. How are you going to make yourself take the take the leap? How do you make yourself take the leap? How do you make yourself take the leap? At some point, you just have to do it, right? Thinking about it, mulling it over, making a plan, none of that really matters. You just have to allow yourself to jump off the cliff, <laughs> right? And it's going to be really cold, and it might shock you for a second, but it, you also know it's going to be fine. You're going to hit the water, you're going to gasp, you're going to sputter, and then you're going to warm up or get out or whatever. That same thing, that same feeling, that same energy happens internally when a paradigm shift is trying to click inside of you. And you have to have that same kind of wild and free and ability to just allow this leap to happen inside of you, allow it to click into place. Because it's tough because it can be really scary allowing yourself to think in a new way. It can be really scary allowing a new paradigm or a new perspective to click inside of you. And we resist that. We resist that kicking and screaming a lot of the time especially if it has been something that has been brewing and we've been learning on, we've been struggling against for a long time. So really just pay attention to your inner landscape. Try to open up that inner space and be really soft and just allow the new perspective, the new understanding, allow it to click. Even if it seems scary, even if it seems uncomfortable, have the courage and take that leap and allow it to click inside of you. That's all it takes. This is really guys getting out of your own way and just stop resisting the change that is happening and allow it to click. Allow it to click. And that is when, after that, it's going to be a whole new ball game. The, call, the cards don't go beyond that because it's something else after this. So really just open up and allow the change to click. I cannot put it any more simply than that. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Okay. Pile number three. Let's see what your message is. I'm getting a really strange like <laughs> wave that just came in from your guys's energy I'm super curious to see what the cards are I feel it's like a little bit of tension that is both excitement and anxiety <laughs> this might sound funny but it's like you know the feeling right before you have an orgasm when when you can like feel that it's about to happen but it co hasn't quite happened yet? It's like that really tense about to like explode feeling but not quite. Like <laughs> that's the kind of feeling here except it's like in my mind. It's in my mind. It's in my head. So I don't know. Let's find out. Eight of coins. Star ancestors. Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper, and Taurus, I Have. <laughs> so you guys are grounding some really massive spiritual energy. This is about grounding the energy. That's why I was feeling that like that vibe, that vibration, that feeling of like an energy just about to come, come through, just about to let loose, just about to ground, right? It's like vibrating and coming down through your crown, through your shirt, third eye, it's spiraling down through your chakra system, down into your body. So really, I mean, there's several different ways of looking at this and some ways of looking at it will, you know, be more applicable to some of you. Some of you, this is like a soul retrieval, Okay, a soul retrieval experience where you're going somewhere or you're reacting out something from your past and you're reclaiming, retrieving a piece of your soul that was kind of lost or set aside and now it's coming back to you and now you're more than you were. For some of you, this is what I would call like a soul braid experience where you are literally downloading and braiding into yourself more of your higher self. You are bringing down more of your higher consciousness into your body spiraling down and that can that change that can change all kinds of things in your life but it's not about losing any aspect of your human self it is about becoming more of yourself more of yourself right for others of you you are actually having like a massive and prolonged I even want to say download of 
a deeper level of your spiritual mission or spiritual purpose. And you guys know me, I'm not super big on making like the spiritual mission this big deal because first and foremost, we're here to just live our lives, right? It's not about, you know, we don't want to put the mission above ourselves, right? We we are most effective actually at serving our greater purpose and doing our mission essentially by just living our lives the way we desire to live them. And the mission is an extension of our life, right? So just that. <laughs> but it's like you are getting ready to live out your purpose in a deeper way. And I think that's because of shifts you have gone on before where you have dropped out of the I need to do uh, these things and, and you have learned that whole lesson about just live your life and then everything unfolds from that. Living your life is the first step and everything else is an extension of that. So that was a really important shift in your ability to, you know, move forward with deeper experiences of purpose. So as you move deeper into your purpose or your mission, it's happening from a place of just perfect synchronicity and flow like you're just pulling it through yourself so for some of you this could be honestly like for some of you this could be literally having a child or starting a family in some way um because you know your children can be the biggest most important thing that you give to this earth right for some of you this is some kind of creative project writing a book <laughs> um starting a social media campaign ha um, having some kind of career right some kind of placement somewhere where you're going to have an impact for some of you you could even be channeling I mean you could just be channeling in general but for some of you this could be some kind of thing about channeling like a system of information that is valuable to others so like just an example right if you know the human design system it's basically a way of using astrology to look at to create like a, a body graph of people's energetic systems, right? And yes, it's based in astrology, but somebody also channeled that information through a mystical experience. And then they turned it into this whole, you know, this whole thing, right? Where now everyone knows about human design and you can go online and you can look at it and people study it and people teach it. And it's like this whole system of knowledge, right? It is based on what was already known before, but it is like expressing it and packaging it in a new way and even marketing it to people. So it is useful and helpful for people and on their spiritual paths. And it is also a big business thing. So you guys could be doing something like that, right? Or it could be creating a tarot deck. It could be starting your healing business. It could be like literally anything, right? But there's this deeper experience of your of your purpose, of your mission, and it's going to really ring, right? It's going to really, really ring. You're going to feel that call, feeling the call to bring this through. And just know that you are working with, you know, your higher self on the other side. You're working with different guides, different beings on the other side that wisdom is you're channeling it through and you're channeling it down into the earth. So Again, this is coming through in many different ways for many different people. The point is that this is a transference or transference of information from higher up to down here, right? From non-physical to physical. That's the essence of this message and how that plays out for each and every one of you is going to be slightly different. But I can guarantee you, you are all massive channels of information. You are all working with star family and higher consciousness and you are all grounding data and light and energy and higher consciousness into the earth in a way that is divine, divinely inspired, and also very practical and useful for yourself and others in your human lives. So that is it for this quick pick. <laughs> this quick pick a card it was funny. I was actually just, I had sat down to just put some cards away and they were like, now, 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 quick, pick a card reading, just do it, just do it. <laughs> so I did it. And that's why this is going to be a short one. So thank you, everybody for tuning in, sending you so much love and light. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.